Michael is in Miami. Hey, Michael, welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hey, Dave. Hey, guys. How we doing? Better than I deserve, sir. What's up? Uh, not much. Uh, I'm uh, 28, as you said, here from uh, Miami, and I'm self-employed. I uh, was managed my, to get myself out of uh, $60,000 in debt, which took me uh, about a year to do. Good. And, um, yeah, thank you, sir. And uh, my question is, uh, I'm currently renting now, and I've uh, managed to save up uh, $550,000. And uh, I honestly don't know what the best thing to do as far as investment-wise. And I'm honestly looking into buying a house and buying a cash. And, you know, I know you're the perfect person to talk to about it, so I want to – um, you know, see what the best way to go about it is. Dude, you went from sixty grand getting out of debt to five hundred and fifty thousand in the bank like it was nothing. What the flip did you do? Oh uh, well, I I took a lot of lumps in uh, like four different businesses that I started. One of which was the reason I got into the debt. You know, because I uh, started with like five thousand and the rest was credit cards. So I made some big mistakes when I was younger. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've always been a serial entrepreneur and. You know, this last one I started, uh, it's going on a year and a half now. I've did all the mistakes I've learned from have allowed me to make it uh make it work. Okay. So you just you've you've you hit a lick with your business. All right, good. That's and amazing. it was kinda after you got clear of the debt. Yes, sir. Wow, that's interesting. Well before, technically. Now you had to struggle to get out of the debt and then that allowed me to be in a position to start the business and then make it work, not off of debt. No, I'm saying the five hundred and fifty thousand all came after you cleared the debt. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's what I was trying to that's get amazing. my head around. Good. Good for you. Well done. Proud of you, man. Thank you. That, feel, that feels pretty studly, doesn't it? Oh, man, it's it's amazing. You know, the challenges come up, and you just got to persevere and, uh, you know, stay true to your gut. Yeah. So have you looked, Michael, at houses in your area that you want to live for that amount of money? Oh, yeah. I can get a nice one one around here in miami these are some of the most outrageous prices i've seen and <laughs> part of the reason why i'm still renting is the red hot market and i know the market's kind of tapering down a little bit around you know everywhere else yeah. but uh you know it's it's, it's rough out here you yeah. know it really is yeah a one and one's about all you're gonna get in in miami proper in dade for that because mm-hmm. that's it's an expensive market it, mm-hmm. it, it, it kind of thinks it's new york um wow yeah. i mean pretty pretty cool okay so here's the thing couple of observations about your situation. Number one, I'm going to send you a copy of the book Baby Steps Millionaires that you. shows you what millionaires have done. We studied, in the back of it is a synopsis of the study, a white paper of the study of the largest study of millionaires ever done in North America, airtight research. So these are what is, are known mm-hmm. as facts, not opinions with your broke brother-in-law. Okay? Mm-hmm. These are facts. Now, the biggest thing that we found was the biggest correlation that we found among the first the people that have a million a million to a eight million dollar five million dollar net worth the first one to five million dollars in net worth comes from two things a paid for house and a fully funded rocking 401k Roth IRA investment retirement program okay right. so we often found a 42 year old, um, that wasn't making anywhere near as much as you're making, and so it took them to 42. Um, and they had a million in their 401k and a paid for six hundred thousand dollar house, so their net worth was a million six. We found mm-hmm. thousands of those that we interviewed. They're all over the place. Okay, so what that tells us is, if you want to be one of those, that's your two best routes to get there: paid for house, fully funding, loading up retirement. Okay. The danger of how the wonderful experience you've had is it's the same thing that happened to me in my 20s. I had $4 million worth of real estate by the time I was 26, starting from nothing. And I thought I could just do that all the time. And I, and I thought that, the, that I couldn't do anything wrong. And I, I fell prey to, and I want to warn you against this, the idea that I could out-earn my stupidity. <laughs> no shot. You know? And it's because you've been making bank, and you can go. Well, I can, I can screw this up and still be okay, you know. And it's, it, it's isn't hard ex- to do out here, Dave, because uh, you know I, I live in a place where the, what I call the flex factor runs oh, rampant. And it's uh, a lot exa- of people. You live in the ultimate flex na- flex house. neighborhood. Yeah, definite flex of all kinds. Yeah, it's all <laughs> flexes there. I get you. Yeah, for sure. 
And if you don't if you don't believe that about Miami, just go to Miami Beach, okay? So, oh, oh my yeah. gosh. And uh, uh, but it, it so yeah, you can really fall off into that and and start to believe your own handwriting. So be careful. I I would continue to make money and continue to live like I'm not making any money. Mhm. For about two more years, and you're gonna have all the money you want for the rest of your life, probably. Um, are you in? A, are you a single guy? Yeah, I I'm with my my girlfriend, and uh, we're going on about, about four years now. So, you know, a couple of milestones are definitely around the corner uh, okay. for us. You know, uh, getting married and everything. Would it be okay and, to go uh, make another five hundred in the next year and a half, and um, bank that, and then let's talk about buying? Would that be okay? Yeah, no, absolutely. I, like I told her, and you know, her parents are in in real estate in the in the Cutler Bay area in Miami, and uh, I'm not in any rush. And you know, I saw your show yesterday, and you know, what you're saying is, you know, you definitely don't want. You definitely, if you're going to get an investment property, make sure you're getting a deal. And deals yeah. are kind of hard to come by right now. No, there's no so, deals. Uh, there's no deals. Yeah. No. Well, I was wondering if I should look elsewhere. You know, to you know, but I don't know. The, I mean, if you, you know, wanted to move inland and move uh, what northwest out of there, um, you know, up, up Fort Lauderdale direction, you know, you you probably yeah. can, you probably can get your prices down considerable and get in a lot more reasonable thing if you want to go ahead and get in the market. That's fine. Mm-hmm. I don't. I just don't hear an emergency here for you Rushing. to buy. No, I do want you to buy in the next three years, but I don't know if I care if you buy in the next three months. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have a, I get out of this lease in, you know, February of next year. Yeah. So, you know, so what did you, would you suggest probably starting to look into some other uh, investments, maybe a mutual fund? I, it didn't even have um, to be. It's a year. It's not even a year. Mm-hmm. It's February. I mean, you're going to pile up so much more. How much more can you have by February? Um, to be honest, I'd say at least another 250. Yeah. It's a different discussion, right? Yeah, a little bit right. of movement northwest and another 250 in February. Changes I, it. I just think, that, you know, and then just be careful to not try to out-earn your stupidity. And and I, I think you're a sharp young dude, man. I'm proud of you. You're killing it. I love entrepreneurs. Congrats, Michael. Well done. Well and done. if there's a ring on her finger, she may have a say on where you guys are going to live, too, if you get married. So Yeah, if you buy a Back house when that. you're a single guy, after you get married, you'll discover you bought the wrong house. So... This is The Ramsey Show.